Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hi, everyone. I'm here to announce the Scrap uh, Table Runner Challenge that we're going to have going on from uh, starting today, which is August the 17th of 2022, and we're going to run it through September 2nd of 2022 and that is about two weeks and a couple days so we should be able to get something done in that amount of time don't you think but here's my inspiration and this is something that I um, found online and it does uh, refer you to annie'scatalog.com for a pattern but honestly do we really need a pattern for that I think not I'm going to use some of my strips that I've used uh, to put together um, adding machine tape. I've got several here already and I'm going to use those for mine and most likely I will use that gray or some other solid color that will um, you know accentuate the colors that are found in the scraps and the scrap strips. Now you can run your scrap strips uh, any which way you want. Uh, you don't have to do it all uh, horizontally like mine will be. You can run them long ways. You could run them diagonally. It's uh, however you want to do it. If you need inspiration, just go to Pinterest and look around. Just put in scrappy table runner or scrappy strips or any wording like that and you're going to find uh, an abundance of ideas on there or just come up with something in your head so i kind of do it both ways i take something someone else inspires me with and then kind of change it up a little bit but i think i'm pretty much going to stick to about what this is and uh, as far as making these strips if you want to do that method uh, I'll show you what I do and it's it's a pretty common method. You've probably seen it on other um, videos, but I'll insert a little clip here of how I do it. Okay, so here's how we're going to put some of our scraps together on adding machine tape. And I have my adding machine tape over here in a little basket so that it doesn't get away from me. And I'll be adjusting the position of this as I go along uh, so that I can turn it this way to sew my strips on and uh, you know just keep this under control sometimes it's right here and sometimes it's way over here so just kind of have to adjust uh, you know where you're at at the moment on your strip um, that basket but you could use you know a, a mug or any other kind of little container that would hold that in place so just pick out some of your scraps and give them a quick iron and um, it'll make all the difference in how fast this goes. If you got a bunch of wrinkled up stuff, you're going to be constantly trying to spread it out to get the seams to go together. So what I'm going to do is just take one of these and put the first one on at the edge of the tape. And you can use any width of tape on this. I happen to have a small tape here. It's uh, just a little over two inches. Uh, you can get much wider tape if you if you want to I just happen to have this on hand so I'm going to use it uh, no sense in going out and buying more if I don't need to but you do have more options the wider it is you can cut it into smaller strips uh, or you can leave them wider if that's what you prefer so just take a maybe an opposing color and put it over the top and let it hang over the edge of both edges like on this one, I have a whole bunch that I'm going to trim off. And then up here, I don't want to put it right at the edge. I could, but I prefer to go ahead and let it hang off a little bit. And that way, when I trim that whole edge, I can just do it all at once and, and know that it's all the same. So here we go. All you have to do is just stick that next piece right sides together onto your first piece and try to keep it straight you don't have to keep it straight you can make it go wonky if you want but if you get it too wonky then you know you're gonna you're gonna need longer pieces that's gonna extend the the amount that you need to have on here so I like to keep mine straight but you can definitely do it 
you know, wonky or on a diagonal if you prefer to do it that way. So here we go. I have my um, quarter inch foot on and I'm just going to sew right through those two pieces of fabric that are right sides together and the paper that's on the back. Lift up, cut it off, and then finger press open or to the side and finger pressing that those two apart so that when I start on my next piece it's gonna I'm not gonna have a bump right here so you know you don't want to have a little hill right here fabric you want it to lay straight so just finger press that down and then go ahead and lay your next little strip of, of scrap on and sew it as well the same way you did the first piece pull it out clip it off iron it open with your fingers there I have three pieces now and then I'll go ahead and grab another one and um, on this I would just use that's a selvage I'm not going to use that on this I would just use uh, nothing less than maybe an inch and that way uh, you know it won't get lost in there with it's going to have two seam allowances you know one on each side so if you have something less than an inch it's going to disappear now you you can go that route and have really tiny tiny strips of fabric there's no problem with that but if you want to really see your uh, fabrics that you put in there the design and the color you want to probably no no less than an inch so let me do one more for you here. Okay, that one I left kind of wide. If you get it, get a wide piece on there and you don't care for the way it looks, it's too wide for you, then just go ahead and cut it up this way until you've got it the width that you want and then go on with your next piece so you have one opportunity to change the width before you sew the next one down onto this one so I'm just going to show you just briefly here even though I'm not finished I'm going to go ahead and cut this long piece off well away from the edge of my paper so just you know leave a half inch or so and that's what it looks like on the back and this will get all peeled away once you're done trimming this off now the next step once you get this as long as you want and you can go as long you know so so on these for a good while if you want make a great big long one because you can always cut them to the size that you need so for our table runner we're going about 14 inches at a minimum so uh, I want to at least get a piece that's that long and then uh, right now once I got that 14 inch piece done if I want to stop at 14 then uh, I'll go over to the cutting table put my ruler right up to the edge of both of these edges and just cut off the excess and then what I'll be left with is a nice clean strip like I showed you before okay I hope that helps you and uh, certainly you don't have to use adding machine tape you can just put your pieces together however you want to put them together you can even make nine patches if you want, or two inch squares, however you like to do it. But uh, it's kind of a neat little method, and it's also a neat way to store your scraps. If you, you're bored one day and you just want to, you know, put some scraps on some adding machine tape, it's, it <laughs> winds up being a great resource in your sewing room. So, uh, as you get your table runners done, I would like for you to send me a picture and um, that goes to the email which is lessons learnt 2021 at gmail.com uh, you're welcome to put your um, uh, finished projects or even works in progress on the Instagram and uh, I'll be sure to see them there but my preference is to put them on the email. That way they can all be in one central place. And uh, we'll do a slideshow at the end. And then also on that September 2nd date, 
that's when we'll have the slideshow and also when we will announce the uh, sew along project for the rest of this year. So be sure and get your scraps out and get ready. Start sewing them together and whip out a nice, cute, scrappy uh, table runner or a table topper if you prefer the square version. All right, so if you have any questions about this project, be sure and put your questions in the comments down below. And we'll see you soon on the next video. Bye.